Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigators and this is the market update for Tuesday, December 28, 2021. Last week, the market rebound from the previous week loss came at midside that the new uh, Omicron variant of coronavirus may not be as destructive as fear. Headed to the year end, the market is rebound and make an all time high on Monday. And today they pull back a little bit to digest again from yesterday. The uptrend is still remain intact. The market tried to make a final attempt for the Santa Claus rally. So we still only have a couple more days uh, before we close the year end. So the market is right now is still hold up very tight to the upside right now, even though today they are a little bit choppy but the uptrend is still remain intact. Now let's take a look on the major indices so that we can see where we are. First of all, look at the SB500. As you can see here, the overall trend is still bullish. Market has made all time high. And then today they go sideways if you're not a rosy. So uh, tomorrow, if they're able to hold on to this level, they punch to the level, we still have a chance to put it up to uh, the next level to close the year strong. Okay, and uh, look at the uh, NQ, it also uh, tried to put it back up uh, pretty strong. They have not made a new uh, all time high yet, but look like they tried to build momentum here so that let's see tomorrow they'll be able to uh, uh, close you know the year end with a, a high note here. And if you look at the Dow, uh, the Dow also make an uh, uh, all time high, uh, they fall up, but they'll be able to snap back. So they are not too far to make another all time high. Uh, the rest of the thousand is still choppy sideways a little bit. So uh, they be able to file the support at the buy zone, they push it back up. They get up, they hit to the sell zone again. So let's see tomorrow they be able to get up if they can clear this resistance here. And then they have a chance to snap back to the upside again. We'll see. Um, if you look at the uh, cool oil, the cool oil, uh, they, like I told you uh, last week, if the cool oil be able to clear this resistance level here, they will continue to push it back up. So this is the first side that cool oil is trying to uh, push it to the upside. We still have uh, some resistance into uh, up above here. So let's see how far they can go from here. Um, if you look at uh, gold, it also uh, tried to put it up uh, after they found a support here, but they still have a lot of resistance in this uh, area. Um, if you look at the uh, the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin it uh, after they run up and then they fail the sell on, but they go back down. They have a buy zone here, so if they can hold on to this level here, to the next leg, they will help them to move to the upside again. The Ethereum it also found a support in the buy zone. They put it back up. They snap back down. Now they reset the buy zone if they can hold on. The neck leg will uh, help them to break out the down trend line and continue to move. Um, if you look at the volatility index, so right now, at today, it still puts it back down. Uh, so right now, it's still uh, about 17.45. So the market is much uh, uh, calmer than uh, last week. So as long as they can hold them to the uh, calmer level here, and then the market is still have some room for the next couple of days to put it up to the upside. If you look at the, uh, um, now let's take a look uh, on the uh, 11 sector of the SP500 so that we can look for the stock that they uh, have potential to push it up for the Santa Claus rally. So first of all, the uh, sector XLB, is the uh, material sector pretty strong here. You see that the last four days, they are ready to find a way to break out this level here. So the momentum pick it up. And some stock here in this sector, like uh, Freeport, uh, Moran, it also tried to find a way to put it up to the upside there. The uh, next one is the uh, communication sector. It's still choppy here. They put it back up, but they hit the resistance, so uh, they need to pull back. So this, this sector still needs a lot of work in order to move up. The energy sector also put it back up, but they are right at the resistance. So let's see, they need to build the bay here before they can break out and go higher. Financial sector also put it back up, but they also hit to the resistance. Again, so they need to 
find a way to snap up in order to move on. The industrial sector is, is pretty strong here, as you can see here. They pull back down, and now they find a way they break out, so they continue to the upside. So in this sector, it's some stock is still doing well, like Fedex, okay, uh, Catibella, okay. So those stock is trying to find a way. If they can hold on to it, they can push it up and reset this level again. The uh, technology is uh, one of the strongest ones. It's still uh, make it all-time high. Uh, they pull back and retest. So if they can hold on to this level, they will continue to push it up to the upside. And keep keep Q, it uh, also try to find a way to punch through this level. And uh, Spider, it also pretty strong here. They make it all-time high. They pull back a little bit. Momentum is still in the upside. And a lot of stock in this sector is still doing well, like Cisco that we showed you last week. It's still don't stop moving up every day. IBM, that's another one. It's pretty strong. It should stay up since we highlight for you. Last week, it still continue to rumble to the upside. Uh, Apple, it also pretty strong here. Now they come back for support, retest. If they can clear this resistance here, uh, they would still have room to move higher. Um, the XLP, uh, that the Consumer stable, pretty strong. Like this one, I told you uh, the week before. They, uh, you wait for them to pull back. Okay, they break out. They pull back. File the support. Now the last four or five days, continue to put it up to the upside. And those stocks that I give you before, like Rock to Gamble, it's still very strong there. Uh, Pepsi Cola, as you can see here, very strong. Coca Cola. Okay, so those stocks still rumble to the upside. Uh, another sector is still doing well, that the REIT and uh, real estate sector is still continue to put it up to the upside. And a bunch of stock that we show you, MTH, okay, this one here, if I support, now put it to the upside, LEN, that's another one, it's on the way up, and PSA, that's the public store, they are doing very well, momentum is still continue to put it to the upside there. Yeah. Um, XLU utility, uh, this is surprising. This one is still pretty strong here. Uh, the those thing that they hatching again the inflation, so those stock is still move to the upside right now. As you can see there. Um, let me see here. So the XLV, which is the healthcare sector, with a a wake up of a Oh, Michael virus, so those talk it to hang tight to the upside. Uh, as you can see here, a couple of talk here, it's still doing pretty well. A uh, United Healthcare, right? Uh, ABT, about lab, it's still a little bit extended, but it's still hang tight to the upside. And ABBV, that's another one, it's still really strong here, but it's kind of extended already, so those talk. You know, don't chase it, wait for them to pull back. But those stocks have been help the healthcare sector moving to the upside. Um, the last one is XLY, which is a consumer discretionary. It all the way up after the breakout here and continue to find a way to put it to the upside. And a lot of stock in this sector to do well, like Home Depot. They pull back down, file support, and the last five days try to find a way to put it up again. Uh, Tesla, TSLA, for example, also uh, try to snap back here. They have some minor resistance here so before they can clear up here. Probably they will continue to go higher. Modano, that's another one. It's still pretty strong here. Since we highlighted a couple of weeks ago, it's still run up very strong there. Okay, so. Uh, uh, beside this stuff, uh, if you are busy working, you can subscribe to our Wall Street Premium Watchlist where we handpick uh, many stocks daily and analyze in detail with the entry target for you to follow. I hope that you enjoy my analysis. Please don't forget to click the thumb up like button below. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck in your trading. I will see you on the last video for the year. Take care everyone.